To a developing story tonight, a 15-year-old is dead after he was shot and killed during a drug deal last night in Kokomo. News 8's Jenny Dreisler uh, following the story for us tonight. And Jenny, that crime has, has people really worried in the area. Yeah, it does, Phil. And that's because this is Kokomo's fifth criminal homicide of the year. And people who live in the apartment complex where it happened fear the violence could just be getting worse. A normally quiet apartment complex in Kokomo became a crime scene Sunday night. Last night I was going to walk my dog, but then I heard like fireworks. But they weren't fireworks. They were gunshots. It's really sad to hear things like that happening. It, it doesn't normally, anything like that doesn't normally happen around here. It all happened around 1030 Sunday night. According to police, 15 year old Dalton Fisher and his sister, 22 year old Kylie Fisher, had gone to Lincolnwood Apartments to sell marijuana. That's when two males got into Fisher's vehicle. A fight broke out and 15 year old Dalton was shot. It was like six, seven rounds of, you know, gunshots and then just cops everywhere. Witnesses told police they saw the two males running from Fisher's car. Police are still looking for them. They describe one as five foot six to five foot seven with a thin build and a distinct flat nose. The other was described as short with a thin build. And it's young people that are losing their lives, and that's really sad, you know, that our children are losing their lives. Police say at this point they believe at least two guns were used during the incident. Investigators say it's unclear at this time which gun fired the fatal shot or who that gun belonged to. As for Fisher's sister Kylie, the 22 year old was arrested on charges of neglect of a dependent, possession of a handgun without a permit and dealing a controlled substance. And all of I hope they catch them because that literally will make an example out of, I don't know, and make other people think before they do so. Hopefully Kokomo can pull their stuff together and get what needs to be done and make Kokomo safer. An autopsy was set for some time today to determine Fisher's exact cause of death. Again, police are still looking for those two males that were also involved in this. If you know anything about it, call Kokomo Police immediately. Jenny Dreisler, Wish TV News 8. All right, thanks, Jenny. Develop